It's easy to confuse encryption keys and public private keys. One is like a doorknob, needing a key to both lock and unlock it. In contrast, public private keys are like a padlock, where a public key can close the lock, but only the private key can open it. This becomes useful when having private conversations. If Alice and Bob exchange padlocks, Alice can write messages that only Bob could open. When replying to Alice, Bob can use her padlock so only she can open his message. Simple enough. But what if we want to have a group conversation? Alice creates four copies of a new encryption key, which will let everyone in the group both lock and unlock. Now she can invite Bob, Carl, and Dave by sending them the new key through their individual padlocks. Once everybody has the same shared key, members can write and lock their messages so only the group can see them, allowing members to securely share information.